What's up guys? Today we are making probably the most important recipe today in my opinion. This is also probably the recipe we make the most. It's delicious, it's filling, and it's great macros. Like you can't beat this recipe and it's really easy. You guys ask about it a lot because we talk about protein waffles a lot. So I'm gonna show you exactly how we make our favorite protein waffles at home using the most delicious protein powder that exists. Thank you Quest for making crazy foods and this protein powder. And then also you're gonna need a waffle iron. If you don't have one, you are missing out because when Matt got this for me, I fell in love with him even more. And if you don't have a waffle iron, no biggie. You can also make this as a mug cake. We do that often. You can even do pancakes if you have the time, the patience. We don't, so we use a waffle iron. So all you really need is a couple simple ingredients. You need butter, egg, protein powder, baking powder, and then whatever else add-ins you want. We're gonna start with a tablespoon of butter. And for ease, we just make this in a mixing bowl. It pours well, and you can put this directly into the microwave. And we're gonna heat this and melt this down. Okay, perfect, that was like 20 seconds. So my favorite part about this is that it takes like five minutes to make. So post dinner, you're not like waiting for your dessert. It's just right in front of you in five minutes. We're gonna add a scoop. You can do heaping, we like to do heaping. A heaping scoop of protein powder. Whatever you have, have at home will work. We're also gonna do one egg, not hard boiled, one egg. Baking powder, I just eyeball it, looks good. I also like to do some salt. A splash of, we're gonna go with flax milk, you can do water, almond milk, heavy cream, whatever you have at home. And then you can always add more liquid. And all you have to do now is use a fork to mix this. It's also super easy cleanup because the fork you mix with, you can just use to eat. So uh, that's pretty thick for me. I'm gonna go a little thinner. Perfect. This probably makes you like one really large waffle or I like to go with like two medium waffles so it feels like I'm eating more and then I have more like surface area for syrup. So let's make these waffles and also talk about add-ins because add-ins are crucial. 80% of the time I do Lily's chocolate chips. That's my favorite add-in. You can also do nuts. You can do shredded coconut. Oh, you could do MCT powder. It'll bulk it up and add some fat. Yeah, I was gonna say, sometimes Matt does Kite Hill almond yogurt. You know, mess around with the add-ins, but right now what I've given you is the perfect base. So let's get these waffles made. Give it a small spray. So let's make one big one today. And all you have to do is wait now. All right, it's been about four minutes. Let's take a nice look. Whoa, baby, look at that. And that's perfect, look at that. Mm. So all there's left to do is to, depending on how I'm feeling, I'll either put butter on it or I'll do Walden Farms maple syrup. That's what we have at home and that's what I like to use. And it's just, it adds another depth of flavor. It takes away a little dryness and just makes it more delicious. But I'm just gonna try this for you guys and make sure it's not poison. Mm, mm. It's perfect. And waffles, I don't know, you can't really beat waffles. Definitely make this at home. And when it comes to your protein powder, just a tip, if you don't use like a Quest protein powder, it might come out a little drier. So 100% whey isolate protein powder, we'll use that sometimes. And the waffles will be drier, so then, Definitely top it with butter, top it with some syrup, make some fancy whipped cream, feed it to your family. But the great thing about Quest is it's like a bunch of different mixed proteins. It's like milk, casein, whey, and it makes the best desserts. So if you have the budget, get yourself some Quest Cinnamon Crunch and make these waffles. Linked below is the exact recipe on how to make them. And I hope you enjoy this and tag us on Instagram if you do make these. See you soon.